Hey, welcome back to Silver Shop. I've got a lot of questions on walking around the 49 Chevy, giving an update on where I am and what I've done. And so I wanted to uh, just do a video for you all to uh, kind of do a walk around, show you what I've done. Um, and she's really basically done. Um, I've got some interior stuff to do paint obviously at some point um and honestly that's you know, i gotta put the badging on and everything uh the trim and such but really that's it she runs strong runs good brakes good so uh let me just start this walk around and i'll show you what what's going on so front is uh i put some halo Headlights on it. These things turn different colors. Pretty cool. Um, you know, it's just a fancy thing for like car shows or whatever. Kids like it. Um, I'm not necessarily big fans of the how it looks, but I like the functionality of them. So that's how I went with it. I got Boss rims and um, what kind of tires are those? Um, Hannock Nan Kang Nan Kang tires. I'll put the uh, description of the uh, sizes and such uh, in the chat below. Uh, the wipers work, but I haven't put the wipers back on yet. I will do a, another video of underneath the hood, and I'll also do another video of. You know, I'll put it up on the lift and I'll do a underneath walk through it as well. That way you guys can see what, uh, what's been done to it. Everything really kind of fit back together decently well. This is my wood bed. And I've got another video about this hidden door panel that I installed. So check that out if you're interested. So it hit, it hid my fuel filler but it also gives me access to my sending unit and my fuel lines if I ever need to get back there. And it's really cool. It just, you know, it closes on its own. Um, you have to, you know, reach up underneath of it to pop it up and get it open. But it worked out really well. Cost me all of $24 maybe, something like that, for the hinges and such. Uh, check out the video. Here's the uh, rear end. And the passenger side. Now let me see if I can get uh, some light on, on the interior. And I'll show you the interior part. Sorry about that. Just I don't have very good lighting here in the shop. So uh, here's the interior. The uh, steering wheel, start with that. That's the same color as the bed. I got that steering wheel at the Turkey Rod Run down in Daytona Beach uh, last year. Uh, everything is a gray interior. Uh, it has different tones of gray, but all that's gray. I uh, put the window uh, trim. I painted it to match the the dash and, and the doors and such. I got a radio blank um, painted to match everything else from LS Fab. Got the interior um, dash components in. Uh, these are Dakota Digital gauges, and um, the gauges have their own turn signal and bright uh, indicators, but the I got it when I got it. These holes were already in there for indicators. I swapped them out with different lights, but they actually do the same, and it looks fine. I got the AC installed, and thankfully it blows cold. That's really cool living down here. Uh, yeah, literally really cool. 
um, living down here in South Georgia. The, I got, that's my brake pedal. It's kind of like that retro look. Um, and that's a low car accelerator, accelerator panel. The, uh, I did leave the dimmer switch on the floor. I like it. The door panels came from eBay and they have that little nice embossed um, teardrop shape to them if you want to call it a teardrop. But uh, it really turned out to match my interior. Um, the seat came from a, and I wish I knew the, uh, the year, but it's, they're, they're from a, it's a second row out of a um, Cadillac Escalade. And it's got the pull down, I'll show you from the other side here in a minute, but it's got a pull down thing where it's got a place for um, your drinks and such. The bottom of this whole entire unit folds up like so, so you can get up underneath the bottom. And then once that's up, the back folds down to where you can get behind it um, and get everything that you need from there. The tank, my gas tank is not in the, in the cab, so I've got a lot of room behind this um, that I still need to interior, uh, do the upholstery and such but it is framed out and ready to go. Just need to um, upholster it. Same thing goes with my, my uh, headliner. I have all the material. As a matter of fact, there it is right there. This is from, I think, yeah, LMC. That's the old cardboard stuff. But I went with the um, ABS plastic one piece which is what I will use. I might, I'll probably end up using this as like more of a template, but I will use the ABS and I'll upholster this to match the rest of the truck. That's gonna be a huge chore. I'm not really looking forward to that. Let's go to the other side here. For the door handles, um, I went with Trick, the Trick Bear Claw latches. Work great. They're a little bit involved to install, but you can do it. The uh, there's the a better close-up look of the panels. They got kind of like that leather kind of look. But man, I'm telling you, it matches the truck and my current uh, upholstery. Great. Got a new low car uh, shifter lever and a low car ball uh, knob. Um, really turned out looking good i just need to put the boot um the shifter boot around it uh, it's also a low car shifter boot so that'll be installed at a later date uh again there's the ac all installed got all the dash panels there um, and all the trim in place got the rear view mirror um there you go installed and i also got the dome light installed and here is that middle console that comes down and store all your mess stuff in there and uh, a couple drinks really works well you can fold it up like that so the wife can sit in the truck beside you um the carpet i got uh, off of ebay as well the trim strips i got um the retainer strips for the carpet got off of ebay and these window lances, lashes, window laces, I don't know what they're called. But anyway, these things here, those were a time to find. Um, but I found them on eBay, and a guy in Canada um, had them, and they were new. Uh, and I bought a set off of him. They were a couple hundred bucks, but well worth it. They really looked nice and uh, finished off the interior really well. I uh, got some things to do, like I said, the upholstery, the headliner, and the behind the uh, behind the seat here. I'm gonna put it, put another um, thing of carpet in here just for all the dirt and mess. Um, as I mentioned, I think in a previous video, I'm running a Fitech, so I've got my uh, my brains right here, and I got them going through the. Uh, uh, auxiliary or the cigarette lighter hole. I was going to mount them up here uh, 
where the radio blank is, but I haven't decided yet. I'll end up mounting it someplace, but that's to be determined. Sorry. So a few things left to do. I mean, I got to put all the, the uh, weather stripping in, but for the most part, she's can be driven every day and uh, I've been driving her. So that's the interior walk around and walk around of the entire truck. Uh, please like and subscribe. I'm not making any money off this stuff. I just want to help folks out. Hopefully I have helped you out with this video. Uh, feel free to ask any questions. I'll do the best I can to answer them in a timely, reasonable fashion. Take care. Have a great day.